Welcome again to Rough Diamond Recipes. Today's recipe is fried chicken. As normal, a full list of ingredients can be found in the description box below. Now, normally, a Rough Diamond Recipe video shoot goes like a well oiled machine. <laughs> but this recipe, four times we tried to cook it, four times. The meat was undercooked, the meat was overcooked, the coating didn't taste of anything. Four times. I'll tell you how bad it got, even my wife took pity on me and poured me a drink. So being the helpful souls we are, we've done a checklist so you don't fall into the same pitfalls we did. And for your perusal, these points are... 1. Don't have the chicken pieces too large. You don't want the inside to be raw when the outside is cooked. 2. Don't have the oil too hot, 160 degrees to 170 degrees C will do, for the same reason as point one. Three, don't skimp on the seasoning, you want the coating taste of something. Four, cook until an internal temperature of 165 degrees F, or 75 degrees C is achieved, and that's a minimum temperature. So bearing these points in mind, let's get on with the recipe. First we prepare the chicken. Simply cut the chicken thighs in half, or into suitably sized pieces. Pour over the buttermilk and mix in. Then cover and refrigerate for at least an hour. Next we prepare the coating. Simply put all the coating ingredients listed in the description box below into a shallow dish or on a plate and mix together. How hard can that be? It looks like we're using a lot here, but remember point three. Then when you're ready to cook, take the chicken pieces one at a time, shake off the excess buttermilk and drench in the coating mixture. Then heat enough oil in the frying pan to shallow fry and the temperature you remember is 160 to 170 degrees C. Then place the chicken in the oil a piece at a time, being careful not to splash yourself. Then fry the chicken, turning occasionally until an internal temperature of 165 degrees F or 75 degrees C is achieved. Remember that's a minimum temperature for the chicken. Then simply serve. We hope you enjoyed this stressful and time consuming recipe. I don't know how Colonel Sanders does it. Feel free to subscribe, share and like and hopefully we'll see you soon again on the next one. Can I have another drink yet? <laughs>